Oh, that's a move. Wow. Small what? band, so we switched off on things. Uh, Amazing. That's yeah. impressive. Well, if you do Superstar, you have to have timpani, right? Okay. Yeah. And, How come uh, I can't hear him? Yeah. I don't oh, know, yeah, Bob. We... Invisibility cloak. <laughs> <laughs> You're not listening on SPL, maybe? Some at the high five, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, second favorite musical uh, would be 1776. Ooh. I didn't know we were doing I second favorites. I just yeah. threw it out there. Just to <laughs> fill, Take uh, another lap. Just <laughs> to fill the void. Awesome. Thank Very you. Good. And then we have an uh, extra, extra special guest oh, joining us. Hey. Hmm? Yeah, hey everybody. I'm Megan Cook. I am the communications lead for this expedition. I am also the uh, director of education and outreach for Ocean Exploration Trust, which means I get to work on all the fun ways we tell our stories online, on social media, in the press, um, in videos, uh, and sail out here as a comms leader and expedition leader. I'm lurking. I wanted to come <laughs> join. Um, I want to go musical, musical movie. I, oh, I cool. really like the producers. Um, but definitely, like, watched it the first few times when I was much too young to, like, understand three quarters of the jokes, I think. <laughs> so it's, been, it's grown on me. But I will also, you know, just for the pop culture angle, I did get to see Hamilton at AGU. I bailed Ooh. out on a session with Samantha. And with Samantha and I decided to not go to one of the last sessions of the AGU That's a couple of years ago, and I went to Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Hamilton. That's what I'm I, got a I got a ticket last minute. Slow roll, a couple yeah, years Hamilton later, find out where you were. <laughs> Awesome. You went to like dinner or something. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump in with my book and musical. You ready? The musical, I think, I'm kind of a classics kind of guy, like Guys and Dolls. Uh, I'll go with that one. And then for book, a book that I really like is. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just think that... I've heard a lot about this book. <laughs> it's not really a classic, but that dude also wrote Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I and I just, ask right. you've done that <laughs> I just love the concept of mixing, like, horror with uh, either, like, well-known fiction or historical this fiction. Is it percentage? It's cool. Looks That's like awesome. it. Zoom in, Dave. I didn't realize that they wrote a book about that movie. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's how that works. Oh, so is this... Uh, oh, no, this is not the Ophiroid, but the Purple Dome. This is a Earth Engine? Yeah. What? Bridge nav. Adam, are you feeling? Let's go prepared? for another three zero meters, two two five. Yeah, yeah. In I'm the gonna, in the midst of the sand field, does it feel like a good time yeah, to tell I me can, your thoughts I, about geology? I, yeah. Cool. I mean, we'll have uh, Annie log this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give you already me, do numbers. Give me a mark. Uh, not yet. It's uh, another ten more minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can do numbers. <laughs> no numbers, no joy. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta get this quote or this uh, sound bite down. All right? So you want to stop talking? Stop. <laughs> talking. We'll just we'll just get off SPL. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, all right. So. So Adam, we spend a lot of time looking at animals. Why is it important to look at rocks? Yeah, rocks. I mean, rocks tell us the story what? of our planet. Oh, damn it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Adam. <laughs> I don't think damn is a bad word, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, Only sorry. if you're a beaver. Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of beavers oh on this God. ship. Take or two. Oregon State beavers. Yeah. All right. The uh, best university. Yeah. The best university. That's right. Your book ended. Yeah. We, you know, we look at the rocks because they tell us the story of the planet. I mean, there's millions and millions of years of history written in there in the inside of them and. You know, today they're the home for, for all these organisms. So they're kind of uh, the thread that, that takes us from, you know, the earliest days of the planet all the way to today. And so it's just fascinating to look at. And cut.
All right. Let's so there you go. Again. Did you like that more one? Did you, yeah, did feeling. you feel good? Feel good about that? You want to do it one more time? Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, and let's go. <laughs> so rocks tell us the history of our planet. I mean, look at them with all their crystals and, and the surfaces that the animals grow on. Is, this is our, isn't is your best rock. <laughs> it's your best Sean Connery. It's my best Sean Connery. I was like, I was like, that's the worst Admiral I've ever heard. And I was like, it's, yeah. it's only a medium good Sean Connery. Yeah, I can open if you want. Welcome to the rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit that highlight I button think, again. I think the first okay. one gonna, we'll you, go with. You feel you like yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Go with that. Cool. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our production team ashore who make our highlights look so awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Big shout when, out to Jacob and Jonathan. The, the voice actors are so hard to work with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for everybody tuning in, thanks so much for sticking with us um, as we currently explore the northern flank and summit of Seamount 9. Our expected dive duration is about 22 hours at a max depth of 3,100 meters. Um, so welcome as we explore uh, Seamount 9. Uh, also, our team uploaded on NautilusLive.org our highlights from our previous dives. So check out our website um, at NautilusLive.org. It's like a mega mix of like 11 minutes of your favorite creatures from mm -hmm. this expedition. Have we added our Holothurians to the... Mega mix? The Holothurian the, the um, chunky compilation. Holothurian? I... We won't have edited a previous compilation, but I think there are some okay, Holotherians okay. in this compilation. Yes. The chunky ones. The chunky ones. <laughs> They're amazing. Yeah. They're just beautiful. They're majestic. Legendary. <laughs> are we talking about the sea cucumbers? Or the yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll still make a plug for the uh, video on the Nautilus Live website called Sea Cum Cucumbers Making Unexpected Expulsions <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> That is a similar highlight reel from a few years ago. I almost typed that in and then thought better of it. <laughs> it's on Nautilus Live. It's Nautilus awesome. Live. So in regards to our dive, um, any sampling objective? Um, what are we um, looking to sample? Biology has been pretty sparse from what we've heard from the previous watch. Um, but they have seen some really interesting things. So if we see anything new or, um, you know, out of the quote unquote ordinary, I guess, we'll try to sample it or take a closer look. Thank you. And for everyone tuning in, uh, if you have any questions, please send them in the chat. Our team would be happy to answer them for you. Oh, let's make sure you guys get back on SPO. I yeah, want to hear yeah, what you have to come back now. shenanigans <laughs> are. You know, they Samantha, are. it looks like we're going to hit two. We might actually hit a waypoint for the first time Whoa. in the age 12. What? This is a historic event. I'd like to thank everyone from the uh, SMA, the Ship Move Association of America, <laughs> for supporting me in this uh, endeavor. I guess they, I should say this beach for when we actually hit it. They, <laughs> uh, well, it's good to have it, yeah. to have it ready. Um, what do you think the SMA, like the Academy Awards has the Oscars? Yeah. What, what are the SMA award? Mm. I mean, I think it's a waypoint. I think the it's whippies. a golden waypoint. <laughs> the, the what? The whippies? WPs? The whippies. Negative. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> the whippets? Nope. Okay. <laughs> We're an after party. Um, <laughs> I think it's the waypoints. I think it's the golden waypoints. Okay. They call them the waypoints. The golden waypoints. Yeah. Okay. I call them whippies. I just, <laughs> whippies. I know no one else does, but that's what I've always called them. Okay, so I'm genuinely curious because I was trying to help another watch when I came up here. They were like, how many meters are we supposed to do per hour to get to the end of this dive track? <laughs> and they were like under by like less than half the speed they ought to have been moving. How far have we gone since the what launch? What a great question <laughs> yeah. that never gets answered on this watch. Uh. And we're just dying to know. <laughs> It was like we set out like five kilometers of dive track, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. hefty dive. So we have gone 175 meters. Really? In 22 minutes? Yeah. Sweet. No wow. Way. wow. Wow. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. That's <laughs> awesome. And Megan, uh, 
the normal rate for every other watch is 250 meters a minute, but the H12 a minute. is sorry, <laughs> 250 meters an hour. What? But the H12 <laughs> is quite proud of our 112 average. <laughs> no. Which is Less than 200, usually. Just, just so we're clear, I was up here with another watch earlier Did that had they? gone 84. Ooh. And they were like, are we supposed to be going 200? And I was like, yeah. that's yeah. the math we were doing. So What is that doing there? Oh, I, I do not know what this cool. is. Can we zoom, please? It looks a like a crash of Gorgia. I did. But there's it can't zoom in. It's really <laughs> interesting looking. I, whoa. That is not a crash of Gorgia. It's like no. a bowl. That is dandelion. What? No, I don't it's like think a hybrid. Oh, it's yeah. got, it's got polyps. Oh, look at this. It's a, I think it's a coral, but, um, <laughs> oh, remind me. Unknown things. coral? Is there interest in stopping? Yeah. Yes, yeah. please, sample. Yeah. Bridge now, potentially. Let's hold position here. We were getting uh, a little ahead of our pace, so it's good that we've stopped. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was right in the middle of a 50 meter move, so you know, I was I was shooting for the stars to, to get us to waypoint two. But <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really cool. Very um, interesting. I do not know what this is. Yeah, it's like a. a it dandelion. looks like some type of sea pen to me. Is it stalked? Uh, um, oh, you know, it's kind of blown around, oh. so it, we're gonna get a look. Yeah, it's a sea pen. Oh my gosh! Yeah, what the heck? It's so densely packed with polyps. Uh, I would like a sample. I think this is a whole whole thing. I don't think you can take part of this. Wow, it's almost got like tiers yes. of polyps. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't I don't know. It doesn't doesn't look like it would fare well by a slip and slip yeah. and slurp, does we only it? We have one jar left, right? No, we got Three jars, three jars, I think. Yeah. But you only have one container left. One box, yeah. But we got a couple boxes with just rocks in them that we could double up. Can you snip a C pen, or is that? Uh, I, I think we probably just want to grab like the whole thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh? we, we yeah. may need to see the. Oh, I think I know what, what it is. Oh. I mean, you can, but. <laughs> Ron you, and I Dave, can you uh, zoom out just a little bit, please? Oh, Calibalemnon. Calibal, yeah. Calibal, yeah. Calibal, yeah. from this. Yeah, yeah, that looks like that's the one. Well, the I've never we seen this before. It's so cool. Do we need to sample it? Yeah, that's the next question. Okay. It, <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be good to sample. This okay. isn't something that we see. Right. And do you need the uh, peduncle? No, no, no worries. <laughs> to identify? Uh, the peduncle? Yeah. As in, do you want a snip or do you want the whole C pen? Uh, How okay. far away is that anyway? Uh, How difficult would it be to more? snip and slurp? Uh, well, snip and slurp is one of our best options <laughs> because we have three. Okay. It is our best yeah. option? We have three containers. Okay. Well, How large is this? Well, that's 10. It's like 10 so it's like 10 20, so it's like 20 centimeters. centimeters? 45, according to <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how important it might be to have the whole thing to be able to like look at the morphology of it. I'm going to see if anyone's in the chat. No. No. We're on our yeah, own. I think that's too far mm -hmm. away. Yep. Move forward. What do we have yeah. available? Good. We have one, one bio box. One uh, bio box and three... Oh, yeah. Uh, what you call it? Buckets. Yeah, slurps. Buckets. Yeah, slurps. Yeah. And then right. we have two rocks that maybe Can could potential. Up. Just yeah. trying to see how far away I actually. Um, We're going to need another rock though. Let's do a, a snip and one. slurp if possible. Okay. okay. Yeah, cut, cut the distance in half there. Yep. Okay. And if we could get like a. I mean, yeah, you'll zoom in. Uh, Jules, what's the potential ID for this? Um, I think it's Cala Blumna. Are you looking that on okay. the deck cam? Thank you. If we could get like a nice zoom before we do anything, that'll, that would be great. Do. Okay.
And zoom in, Dave. Okay. Snow globe. <laughs> it's passing by. So Robert, what do you do with Atlanta? Atlanta. Always causing trouble. Alright, we good? Okay. Uh, we're on jar number three right now. Yeah. So I think you can only turn it counterclockwise. Yeah. That's what I was told. Yep, same. Let me know when you want the suction to come on. Are we on jar We're on, yeah, we're on <laughs> jar three. Right jar yep. three would be the right one, yes. Yeah, we're on so jar three. That's a short one. Yep, this is a shorty. So we're not gonna see it go in there. Uh, I can do jar two. Or trying to well, get the bubble I mean, cam up. Uh, yeah, maybe you can see it with the bubble. You can cam. see the bottom there. Uh, sort of. Sort of. Let me see if I can get bubble cam on it. Uh, nope. Nah. Nope. Can't uh. see up in there. Nope. Yep. All right, well. Can we zoom in, Dave? Leaning over. Yeah. Yeah. So where's the top? Top is pointed to your claw. So it looks like it ends like that. Okay. And how much do we want? Half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Yeah, that's good. Might be like nylon um. line, possibly. Yeah, the whole thing's gonna come up. Yeah, it looks like we might have All to right, take, take the whole, the whole thing. thing then. Yeah. yeah Can you slurp the whole thing? The. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's like nylon line. It's not gonna. All right, it's pull not it out. Break off. Yep. Awesome. All right, let's put it in E or F on the starboard side. All right. Okay. You ready for Sambo Salvo? Not yet. Okay. I guess you, I guess you can. Go ahead. Okay, got a sample. Fire the Salvo. View. Argus view? Yep. It's because Argus is on deck. <laughs> uh, Argus is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, why don't we just <laughs> Argus slash Atalanta? <laughs> <laughs> 
Argalanta. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound dissimilar to some new pharmaceutical. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Are you having trouble with Tri Argalanta? Trouble with what? Tell me what, the, <laughs> what am I carrying here? Uh, uh, hang on, let's turn off the thrustage. Okay. Okay, drawer out. Okay, drawer coming out. If you're watching on the quad view or channel three, got a good view. E or F? E or F. You want further? No, that's good. Are you having trouble getting a bird's eye view of the <laughs> your, your of your life? <laughs> you feel like you're getting jerked around. <laughs> Try Argatlanta. <laughs> Argatlanta. <laughs> Need okay. some perspective. We should be sample one six five. One six five. Roger. And that was an E. E. Yep. E. Okay. Sample tray is closed. I don't want a push core, but this does look like kind of gooey sediment. Are you sure you don't want a push I'm core? I'm definitely sure I don't want a push core. You kind of said that like you want a push yeah, core. Yeah, I think you might want a push <laughs> core. They haven't taken a push core yet on this dive. All right. Seems also, like maybe it's oh. time. <laughs> you just waiting for like stowed. We're never getting to that point. Hey, Samantha, is that arm stowed? Okay, now I want a push core. <laughs> Are you serious? You really want to, we actually convinced you of this? Well, you're right. I mean, we haven't <laughs> taken any, and this looks like perfect sediment for it. <laughs> well, all right. Time one for a push All right. Yeah. All right, Sampo, Salvo coming. Adam, what's a push core? Sample Salvo? Sample Salvo. Sample Salvo. Oh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Want to come out? I can hear you. Wait, what we time? need can the you other camera me? view here. I can hear you. It's no good. Paula, can you can hear you yourself? I can hear all of you. <coughs> <laughs> hey, Adam, Adam, what's a push okay. core? Out what's a push box? core? That's a great question. Uh, outcome out of the box. A push core is That's a good. polycarbonate tube about a two and a half inches across and you push it down into the sediment and when you pull it up you hope that the sediment stays in there and it can be used for all sorts of things so you can use it to learn what the sediment's made of you can use it to see what animals are living in the sediment are you we can, doing side grab or i leave that to you you say it's gooey it's going to stay there yeah i do think so let's try a front grab you can Close uh, the box. pull out the pore waters and see what sort of uh, biological activity is changing the water right. chemistry. Um, Are we zoomed in on Argus view? Or what's we're going? not. No, we have a uh, herc behind us. It's, I need to turn around. Oh, it's up slope. Yeah. It's yeah, we'll have seven to. Seven meters. Uh, seven meters. See all that dust that's kicking up? Seriously? I do see it. We believe you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very convincing. No, I didn't. <laughs> when you cry wolf. <laughs> yeah. Cry dust storm. Uh, okay, so the box was closed, right? Box is closed. Okay, so we need a thruster back here. Okay. Adam, what are these push cores going to be analyzed for? Uh, these ones in particular, Can you push some, more down? some of our shoreside yeah, so colleagues so want to look the at the tilt. in oh, fauna, so the full full forward, full small forward. and medium sized <laughs> organisms. All the way down. Hit the stick lock. In stick lock. The, there you go. Uh, in the pull sediment. down. And there's other folks who want to look for actually fish ear bones or o otoliths. Great science word of the day. Oh, 
speaking of. It's the word of the day. So you win. Come on, be That's gooey. good. Yeah, I don't want to shove it out the top. We want to keep the top of the sediment there. Sticky. Doink. Boop. Trenchant. Ah. Trend. Meaning. Trenchant. Of or relating to trench. Um, close. <laughs> this push core is rather trenchant. <laughs> Communication that is notably Very strong, simple. clear, yeah. and perceptive. No, like the H12 watch. Uh, <laughs> just like us. Wait, unclear or clear? Out? Nope, clear. Clear. Second push core. Oh, let's go. That does look very <laughs> sticky. I liked that variation of let's go. <laughs> yep. Are push cores requested or is this just for our hours? Uh, they research? were requested by okay. some scientists ashore and we will commonly collect push cores. attempt to. Anyway, in the hole. There There's got to be a better way. I know, know I was just thinking <laughs> that. Especially when Atalanta's making all that <laughs> cloud there. It's hard to see. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's hard on us, it's silty. Okay, let's do one more. I see we're still avoiding number one. <laughs> Our bad well, luck. You said to avoid number one. I know that. Yeah. Are you changing your mind? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't tempt fate. <laughs> Sample tray in. Hey, I'll do side. Paula, this will be one six seven. Yep, one six seven. Thank you. We don't have an Atalanta view on this. Oh, I see what you're looking at. Uh, it's kind of short. It's okay. Top five centimeters is our sample tray coming primary out. interest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, might need to raise it up just a tiny bit. Okay. Mm. That's the better way. Which is the better way? Use I don't know. Just <laughs> I don't know. It just went in really easily that time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, overall, something better than tube cores. Something oh, easy. like blade cores, which also sounds really cool. Blade cores. Yeah, they're Do like. Do those like snap closed at the bottom? They nah, they can, but ready for, uh, they're just like dive. they get you like a whole bunch of sediment in kind of a slab. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. And they describe my fashion style, blade, <laughs> blade cores. Core. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else here, science? Nope. Nope. Okay. Thank you very much. Was today the day you wanted uh, Niskins no. from... Uh, uh, Adam, yeah. just to confirm, this is on this uh, yes, the third horse. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Niskins w from... Blank Evan? Niskins as...
comparison, or was that a different day? Um, a different dive. I think that was a different dive. Okay. Do we have any niskins? They're we don't all have open. Any niskins. They're all. None They're of all them open. Have been tripped. Yeah. Well, this might be. <laughs> I, let's see if we find any high density higher up on the hill. That may be the only thing left we can sample <laughs> when we get right. up there. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking for low density. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, let's let's get going for some ammo. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't have to be for me. We'll eventually get to waypoint. Stick too. lock coming off. Okay, well, let's get Herc out in front and then uh, continue on. Oh, Argus got a view of some rocks, the first rocks we've seen. Just trying to find out where I'm and at. We should be starting our oh, shit. I said, oh, uphill damn. ascent again. I said Argus. I know, so I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. Cat. It's the third week here. I think that might be a Halopteris C pen. Okay. Not that you don't have to do anything about it. I'm just noting it for data. <laughs> yeah, noted. Thank you. Annie, where do we have people joining us from? Good question. So, um, shout out to our viewers tuning in from all over the United States, Canada, UK, Malaysia, Philippines, South Africa, Taiwan, Phil uh, New Zealand, Norway, Japan, Italy, Finland, Germany, and Barbados. Cool. Um, for our viewers online, can we elaborate on what calcareous ooze is? Uh, sure. Did we say that? No, um, <laughs> chat. <laughs> chat People said are it? curious. No. Oh, People are curious. Yeah, no, I know, but did, did <laughs> someone did mention that? calcareous yes. ooze? Yeah, we did. No, I don't, no, no, I don't think we mentioned it, but what? chat uh, mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 I thought it was mentioned. Okay. It was mentioned. Yeah. Calcareous yeah. ooze is basically uh, gooey sediment made up of, I had it on an of uh, yeah. calcium like carbonate from the Sometimes it'll shells and tests of right yeah. organisms <laughs> raining down and uh, other... Fish. Organic matter. No, polytherium, sorry. False alarm. Oh. Sea, sea, uh, sea pig or Spanish dancer or something? Polytherium, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Depends which one. Common names are the worst. <laughs> you guys are good on that guy? Yeah. Kay. Thank you. I'm particularly looking forward to the ship being back in Canada for the March of the Sea Pigs. They Ooh. have the Holotherians that are specifically called Sea Pigs there on the Abyssal Plain, Cascadia Basin. And sometimes they'll all align in the current oh, and it looks like a little yep. Sea Pig stampede, which uh -huh. is real cool. Amazing. <laughs> okay, well here's the start of our slope. I will be looking that up. <laughs> you, you mentioned the, the March or the, of the Sea Pigs? Yeah. What? I'm just gonna call it that. that. I mean, it's it's That's a me. slow shuffle at best. <laughs> I wonder why they line up. Is it so they don't get blown around? They're like drafting off each other. Possible. Thanks for the push course. That was awesome. What are the increments there? The numbers are so tiny. Uh, those are Is this another uh, Holothorian? Yep. Yeah. Five meters? And, um, I Ten? noticed that they're in the same position. Yeah, mm. kind of meter. like five meters. Right With their little yeah. thing Face down. up. Yeah. I don't know if it looks like they're feeding. Uh, I think they're pretty much always feeding. Right. True. It's yeah, it looks like it kind of just has its like face could you call it yeah. a face <laughs> Stand in the down in the sand over. okay so parents are we ready for a move 
Yeah. Is that right here? Oh, we got a is fish. Is that a fish? Halosaur? Halosaur. Looks like a halosaur. Yep. Okay, move going in. Yep. Bridge, no? Uh, let's do three zero meters, 225. Dave, zoom in. Hello. It's a bit whiter than the others yeah. we've seen. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It's very pretty. Ghost halosaur. <laughs> It is pretty. It's kind of pearlescent. Yeah. And it's that kind of trenchant ob observation that <laughs> is what exploration is all about. <gasps> trenchant it's observation. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Like it looks like a piece of jewelry. What a pretty fish. I wonder what could cause it to have that right. color? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. No, I would love a fish expert. Right. I wish I knew more about fish. Okay. <laughs> Are you keep going? Keep going. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. All right, Dave, zoom out. We do have questions, um, a question from our viewers. So is it safe for ROVs to explore along ocean trenches where the new seafloor is being formed or is it too hot? Ah. Or how so hot is too hot, honestly? So I think they're probably referring to mid-ocean ridges. Right. The trenches are where the old crust dives into the mantle. Right, right. Um, but the answer is yes, it's safe. But there are places, ooh, what's this? Interesting. There are places where it can be too hot. Um, it would be difficult for the whole ROV to get into one of those places, but you do have to use, that's why a lot of the manipulators and the equipment is made of titanium. It's a, Oh, okay. Kind of heat resistant material. Um, but there's definitely been stuff that's been melted in hydrothermal vents before. But the cool thing is that, uh, you know, even though the temperature right at the orifice of a hydrothermal vent could be, you know, 300, 400 degrees C, within a few inches, it can be you know, almost back down to ambient because it mixes with the cold seawater and, and the temperature kind of cools off rapidly. That's why when you see those, uh, we see hydrothermal vents pumping out the black smoke, it's because the hydrothermal fluid is mixing with the cooler and oxygenated seawater that causes the minerals in the fluid to precipitate. And it's what makes up the, the sulfide chimneys and it's uh, in the particulate form in the black smoke. Oh. And if folks want to see cool. that, they should come watch the Ocean Networks Canada expeditions because we'll be diving right at those vents, right oh, at that location. That's exciting. That's exciting. And it will be intense for the navigators, just the heads <laughs> up. That's an intense cruise mm -hmm. as they try to keep Atalanta and the tether out of those two hot spots. Oh. Has um, any push core, were any push cores melted? Has a push core melted? Yeah. Has a yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How many push cores have you melted, Robert? <laughs> a couple. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> so, I mean, that water is hot enough to melt lead. So wow. Yeah, that's wow. Wow. That's pretty hot. What is this white rock? I don't know. Look at it in the still cam. Look at that. Yeah. Do you have any potential interest in sampling? No. Okay. Do you Bridge, think it's no? we get, I get rock? one rock for the rest of the dive. Wow. 
Uh, let's add three zero meters to the step two two five. So I'm going to say that this is old sediment that has been hanging out a long time, long enough to have iron manganese crust grow on top of it. This is very cool. Is this rock? Is that anything? How would you get sediment down this deep like that as a layer? Yeah, well, you got, you see the, well, you see it floating in the water right now. So sediment's always coming down. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, 50 million years ago, there was still sediment coming down. And as it gets buried under more and more sediment, it starts to become compacted. Can you zoom on this, please? And can become indurated, meaning kind of cemented. And so okay. it's kind of on its way to becoming a, a sedimentary rock. Geologists have so many cool Is that word words. indurated? Right. Indurated, yeah. Indurated. Indurated. I think that's the science word of the day. Look, uh, the rock in. is all the way, goes all the way on the other side. Oh. It looks like a primnoid kind of. Can you see it? Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hmm, a little hard to tell. Can we get any more zoom on that? Can we get it against yeah. a black background? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I would agree, primnoid. Maybe just say tentative primnoid ID. <laughs> Noted, thank you. Yeah. Uh, down, okay. down pointing polyps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Thank okay. you. Yep. Chat um, wants to know, when are those dives to thermal vent sites planned or expected to happen? Yeah. Best way to tell is to check out the Expeditions tab on Nautilus Live. If you are watching over on YouTube, come on over to nautiluslive.org. Expedition tab lays out the dates of all of the expeditions that are happening this year, so you can track where we are on the map. Um, and then as we get a little closer, we'll give those day-to-day -day dates of that. But um, that will be starting, gosh, in um, l late June into okay. into July. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And there w we're anticipating there to be several dives. So there's a lot of work we'll be doing with our partners out at the vents. So lots of opportunity. But stay tuned to social media for dive alerts. Hey, how'd the rest of your Instagram takeover go? Are you still taking over? Um, it went great. I'm nearing the end of my takeover. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to update folks with our crush cups when they come back up. Jill's um, not going to sleep tonight. She's just going to stay up posting on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'm just <laughs> going to lay awake in bed, just posting and posting. Um, it was kind of a 50-50 split between waypoints Ooh. 5A and 5B. Oh. So, oh. TBD. Okay. Swimmer, swimmer. Oh, dang, where are we relative to that? Yeah, we're not point? making it. What? <laughs> well, we look right <laughs> on it. Wait, no. wait, five? We're not making no, it. No, no, but two. Are, are we, are we oh. on two? Oh, wait, hold on. Zoom back in. Speech, speech. Oh, uh, we're not there yet. Okay. We've got, I mean, if we were going to say Herc's on top of it, it'll be 10 meters. <laughs> okay. We're very close. Okay. This question could hurt, but uh, other watches have oh. they have they made their waypoints? Have they? <laughs> <laughs> no. No comment. Okay. Nothing like us. I mean, <laughs> only the viewers know for We've certain. We've come in within oh. 500 meters of a lot of them. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and then regards <laughs> to sediments and nutrients, how do the nutrients that fall down this far cycle their way back up to other ecosystems, or do they just stay there indefinitely? Oh, that's a very good question. Yeah, that's okay, a great question. Yeah. Um, let's log this carbon cycling explanation. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the particles that you're seeing falling um, through the water column are referred to as marine snow. Um, it's essentially organic matter from surface waters, from decomposition, um, 
etc. that falls all the way down and only about 10% of it makes it all the way to the bottom of the ocean, to the deep sea. Um, so this fine sediment that we're seeing here, a lot of it is just that organic matter. And it's what provides deep sea organisms with food. So animals like corals, which are filter feeders, rely on marine snow um, flowing through the water. And they, they catch that food and that's how they eat. Um, and there, there are a lot of like microscopic players involved. So that carbon is being converted into other forms, but the deep sea is really important for carbon storage because they're like a lot of it just stays there for a very, very long time. Yeah. And the, you know, as it gets buried and, and, uh, of sequestered from the ocean water, uh, heat and microbes can convert it to methane and to even higher order hydrocarbons. But like a lot of this carbon is going to be seen again when it goes down in the subduction zone and comes out of uh, arc volcanoes. So the, the cycling of this is kind of whole earth scale cycling, which is pretty, you know, kind of impressive when you when you think about it. So yeah, it will cycle up to ecosystems, but like on geologic time. Yeah. Right. Big right. time. Yes. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Very long days? time scales. What's that thing? That's a um, so that is very significant oh, okay. um, climatologically. Um, if we didn't have so much carbon stored in the deep sea, uh, our planet would be a lot warmer and a lot less stable. Ah, oh, interesting. Cuskeel? Yeah, little little baby cuskeel. Someone said the fish cute. they've been seeing at um, this depth has been, they've been smaller. Preparing for launch. That's interesting. Oh. oh. Oh, the, the whole Charyang is also ready to launch. Yeah, it's going for just it. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> let it go. Is Frozen a musical? Yes. yes. Yeah. It is. That is was that a good your one. Favorite? Well, I did like that one. Yeah, I did too. All right. Even Frozen Two was that what also it was called? Great. Yeah. 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 It's a musical. <laughs> Have any of you seen Mamma Mia? Ooh, oh, of course. yes. Of okay, course. favorite musical, Mamma Mia. Yeah, it's a very good <laughs> one. I like all the Disney ones. Encanto, that was a good one, too. Great. Yes. I've not seen that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you my would gosh. love it, so good. Yeah. I, I am would love it. too afraid of, like, just crying through the whole thing. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> my oh, grandma. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you I really I should see it. it. I should see it. Yeah. The villain is generational trauma. It's a fresh take. Did you not watch Coco, then? Crushing. Coco, awesome. I did not see. Coco, Coco oh. made yeah. me cry. I made me cry too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made that me biased, but I, I like Moana. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. super good. One. Yep. My favorite character in Encanto is this little Colombian kid that shows at the beginning at the end, and he's always so high on coffee. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, That's like coffee's for grown-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we don't talk about Bruno? We don't talk about mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I sing Sponsor that in the car Disney. so much. <laughs> <laughs> Please. If you have kids you of a certain a age, collab. man. Nautilus Live now streaming on Disney Plus. <laughs> Ooh. That'd be cool. Uh, there, are, there are documentaries there are. featuring Nautilus <laughs> on Disney Plus from the National Geographic family. Yeah. Really? Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. I just think like the a fan. Nautilus cartoon would be really neat. It would be really fun. I think a Nautilus musical would be <laughs> so <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> we could start horrendous. now. <laughs> we can include the sea shanty that was sent uh, in. But the chiller <laughs> is not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's the villain song. <laughs> the villain is the chiller. Yeah. <laughs> or that. It's actually a really great villain name, <laughs> the Chiller. <laughs> Help us out, not all those fans around the world. You've got a signature song. Supposedly, yeah. send it in. 
There's a ghost, a little, right? A little we will. snappy, like, bridge to nav number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Throw that. in some, <laughs> can I get a zoom, Dave? <laughs> oh, and Annie. Gonna be the pop, she needs to do the let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. I feel like it's going to open and close with let's go. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we we didn't even know it, but we were creating content for the musical. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's like, like a whole framework. Titles. Potential. That's a whole framework right there. Yeah. Right. Just I mean, we got a we got a fairly Sell long transit right. on the way back. We do. <laughs> and I got a ukulele <laughs> that is ready to rock this thing. Do you all know Chris Ryan has played uh, harmonica for 20 years? It's no. Time for, it's what? Time for a Since he was one year old. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's listening. <laughs> Um, I was very impressed. I would by that. love to hear that. Same. What do we get? Every here? time we have like a very stressful situation, there goes Adam with the ukulele. Adam <laughs> with the yeah. Just yeah, Adam, why haven't you brought it uh, in the van? In the van? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It seems inappropriate. <laughs> and I'm all about appropriateness in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. Didn't you have to contribute to the swear jar earlier? <laughs> oh my god. They actually renamed it the Adam jar, which Adam is cool. Jar. The soul jar. Yeah. <laughs> Looks to me like a bamboo. Yeah. Cool. I love these ones. It looks like it could be lepidisis. A little cup coral there next to it? Uh, I think that's an anemone. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. See through. Yeah. Oh, since we started exploring, what's been the dominant um, species? It is <laughs> <laughs> for no, sure. It's changed on, on every dive, yeah, which really is awesome. Varies. We had one dive with just so many sponges. Yeah. Right, right. I've never seen so many sponges at once. Our first dive was all shrimp. All the way all down. All the way down. All the way <laughs> down. <laughs> By the way, I saw one, so confirmed, all the way down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I All mean, right, I think we got this. Bridge now. Yeah, this is good. Thank you. Oh. I feel like we tend to see a lot of bamboos. Right. Let's do another th uh, um, three zero meters, two two five. We've seen some. I think everywhere we go. I'd have to say microbes have been the dominant species. Microbe isn't Microbes. a species. <laughs> uh, beg to differ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay, geologist. Paula, what do they say? <laughs> I shall have no comment. <laughs> oh, Diplomatic. Paula's still my favorite. <laughs> um, Paula can speak to animals, by the way. Yeah. That's her power. Oh, I see that what you're doing there. Yeah. It's a callback. Callback. This morning? Last was night? That? Uh, was it this morning? I think no. it was two, that was two ago. What did we have this two morning? Two ago, two sleeps. Two sleeps. I don't remember this morning. Oh, this morning was water column. I remember that. Yeah, but uh, what was our fancy question? Breakfast? Mm. We had like a half an hour of talking about breakfast. I don't remember anything this morning. I don't know. a question from this morning? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you should be writing these down. Then. Oh, it was uh, if you could be a fish. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. If you could, thank that's you, Paula. Cool. Wow. If you could uh -huh. be a fish. I can't remember even answering that question. You <laughs> wanted to be uh, where the people are. <laughs> uh, what did you want to be? Flounder. Paula wanted to be a box fish. I, like I just remember yeah. Robert wanted fish. to be a, a cool, multicolored orange and green. Mandarin. One. The Mandarin fish. Mandarin fish. Oh, yeah, Mike wanted to be a tiger fish. shark. Yeah, I was and a then koi. A great white for Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great white and then I'm the little blue fish. A little bluey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Samantha. Jeez. I know. I'm. Good job remembering. <laughs> totally everyone. blank. I'm very impressed. If uh, <laughs> Megan, if you were to be a fish, what would you choose to be? Easy question. Bluefin mm -hmm. tuna. Oh, wow. They're bigger than Volkswagen beetles. They accelerate faster than racehorses. They hunt in packs like wolves. 
They're just Whoa. absolutely wow. spectacular. That's, That's amazing. That's so cool. Okay. They can they can counterflow their blood to their eyes so that they can hunt in icy water, but maintain like a degree of warm bloodedness by having what? quick reaction in their nerves and blood flow. So cool. That is really cool. Eyes, barrel eye. Barrel eye. Barrel eye. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Megan. <laughs> I'm here for you. Um, Adam, you wanted to be a koi fish. Yeah. Not just a koi fish. A koi fish, koi fish at the <laughs> Four <laughs> Seasons. A spoiled koi fish. <laughs> a spoiled koi fish. <laughs> That's a lot. Adam, spoiled koi fish. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even think of the name of my fish, but I remembered the behavior. <laughs> Is it the damselfish? I don't think it's a damselfish. Okay. They oh, do, like, trim their, like... Oh, your gardening fish, yeah. Yeah. It's not a damselfish, though. Where they keep it, they keep a nice little lawn in front of their house. Yeah, totally damselfish. They, and, I mean, others probably do it too. Yeah, but. I don't remember if it was a damselfish or another, but they like, they have these like nice little lawns to impress their mates. Their mates, yeah. Damselfish, damselfish do it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. I did damselfish. a lot of research on damselfish for a long time, and I was really? always very impressed by them. Oh, that's right. Very, it's very ounce short. by ounce, by ounce the fiercest fish in the sea. <laughs> what is this? Mm. What is that's that? That's ominous. A long haul theory. Right. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's just. That's a haul theory. Can is we? Is it? Is it? Look at that. What? <laughs> I want the no to way, swim. no way is that a holothurian? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look at Why that! Oh my gosh! So there. What? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh they've, wait, really? They've Are seen, we they've seen yeah. some of these on this dive. This, this is big wild. purple Why is it so massive? Oh. Oh my god. That's why we That's haven't like seen anything else here because it's eaten. <laughs> 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 Wait, really? What? I think what you is, zoom in there. Like what is happening? <laughs> it's just standing up. Wait. It's standing up. That's a, that's a power pose. <laughs> power pose. Uh, it, what? Look at it. Does is this a way for it to feed? I. This is not the first one we've seen on this dive. Oh, it's Look the at first cool of these. little horn. Yeah, I've never seen it. Just like, it's just slurping. It's a pretty common color for deep sea holothurians. Yeah. yeah. Which I'd love to know why. Like, why so purple? Oh, it looks those cool little protrusions. So cool. I want to know why it's doing that. It's like slowly it's getting eating. up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe as it eats more, it, it backside will fall down a bit. Maybe. Oh, it's going down. It's so long. That's impressive. I feel like it doesn't even really care that we're here. <laughs> yeah. Samantha. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Very impressed. He's not intimidated. It's not intimidated by our presence. No. Really standing up. Oh, well, starting to lay down a bit there. It looks like a dragon. It does. Is there anything in the guide that looks like this? I, I will look. You guys ready to continue, or I am, um, or would you like more time? No one else is, but no, I'm ready. I <laughs> Oops, so pretty. I like the green on so cool the purple. That's a nice combo. Okay, move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, we're also gonna do a little bit of a bearing change. Or for you, I guess it'll be a heading change. Uh, we're gonna do two four five. Wait, have
we cross waypoint two? Let's do three zero meters two four oh. five. Uh, we have passed waypoint two. Yeah. Speech, speech, speech. 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 Well, we didn't pass over waypoint two. <laughs> but yeah, you put but in a really so good effort. <laughs> yep, was speech. Best effort. Okay. Well, um, thanks everyone for uh, for being here for this really special moment. I'd like to thank my my family, my friends, and uh, Chana Cops for being there for me through this all. <laughs> what about your colleagues? Oh, your also my team? my <laughs> my um, work she colleagues. She already said family. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, this just really means a lot. I couldn't do it without uh, the ship's engine and the ship and <laughs> the bridge. And I just really appreciate all of their support for being able to make these moves in my life and in high pack. Um, <laughs> You, you said you weren't going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Choking up a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, Just can't one? wait for oh, waypoint oh, three. Really cool. <laughs> On to big thing. <laughs> and the is that a space strong. Oh, what are we looking at? Um, That's a new one. No. That tiny base. Have we seen that? Oh, that's wild. Okay. I'm going to work on idea here. I think it is a type of euplectelid. I have a potential ID for the Holothorian too. Oh, really? How was that? Um, I will reveal momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just check building out suspense. my Instagram no, I'm, I'm feed. Just yes, check out Nautilus Live on Instagram. It will be revealed in the Instagram <laughs> story takeover. It it's looks like Corbitellina. It does look like Corbitellina. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. That's settled. And we were just saying we hadn't seen many sponges. It yeah. hurt us. <laughs> the Holothurian, I think, was Benthodites. Oh. oh. Benthodites. Great name. Yeah, right? It sounds like it would, there would be a myth written about it. A myth or a musical? <laughs> uh, both. A mythical musical. Dave, how do you survive over in this corner? It is aggressively air conditioned for here. Ah, uh, fleece. <laughs> uh, we cranked up the fans earlier when the temperature was high. Uh, I could probably knock it down a bit. Well, our, our human thermometers haven't mentioned anything yet, so. <laughs> I rely on amber, usually. If Amber's comfortable, it's too hot for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that Megan is uh, filling that same <laughs> role. Here for you. <laughs> oh, and then in regards to geology, um, chat is asking, is there a term to describe the type of rock or sediment layout here? A uh, term to describe the type of rock and sediment? Yeah, or how would you describe? Just the whole scene? Yes. Uh huh. That's a good question. Uh, I guess I would say that it's a sedimented slope with patchy outcroppings of Iron manganese encrusted talus. Ooh. So sediment's the dominant kind of lithology, for lack right. of a better word. So right. I should probably start with that. We see these outcroppings. I don't think any of this is kind of intact. Uh, Zoom in, Dave. Original rock. I think it's kind of all fallen down this slope. So that's where the talus comes in and all of it is cemented in place with iron manganese crust. Right, well, thank you. Ooh, and what are there? we looking at? Um, looks like, looks bamboo-y to it me. It could be a bamboo. Yeah. Actually. It's got one of those weird knots of. Uh, 
I don't know, it's looking a little bit more... <laughs> I can't tell for sure because we're moving. And it's moving. <laughs> Everyone's moving. Bridge nav? I, I think it's a primnoid. Yeah, I don't see any segments or nodes. I can do another three zero meters, yeah, two, four, four five. Primnoidy. Cool. Primnoid whip. Awesome. Noted, thank you. All right. Moving on. Hey, Joel, so we have our uh, viewers, they, they're wondering, um, so why are the corals at this uh, depth so spread out? Does it have to do with the current the f current flow? What do you think? Um, a number of things influence the distribution of corals and sponges and, well, all biology. Um, we are at... Zoom in, Dave. About 3,000 meters, well, like 2,500 meters. Um, so generally, the deeper you go, the more sparse things become. Um, there are a lot of challenges that these organisms have to be adapted to. Right. Um, I tend to find that things are clustered in areas with that are like um, more conducive to life. Like sea mounts are particularly biodiverse. Um, because the seamount affects the flow, so there's more flow going. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, move on. Corba Telene again. Um, and the rocks, right? And the yes, rocks. and the rocks. Attached and there are something. surfaces for them to attach to. So, flow, surfaces, mm -hmm. um, food, nutrients, upwelling, <laughs> and downwelling. And downwelling, and all of those good things. And probably some amount of, you know, I don't know how far their gametes can go, but you kind of have to have some in the area, right, to create new recruits? Mm -hmm. Or do or do the gametes travel between seamounts? Um, I guess that's an open question, I suppose. I don't know the, like, the span, but, I mean... I think that, like, I don't think that that's really something that determines their distribution. I think it's more about, like, what will survive. So like, there's right. maybe so they there's could like spread mm -hmm. to here, but, like, will they develop and become, like, adults? Yeah, I guess that's maybe the not. question. Is there a uniform distribution of potential corals and sponges everywhere and then we only see them where they survive or is there also an influence from where they've where they've settled or where the babies or gametes or larvae <laughs> or whatever have, have settled yeah i mean i think things certainly can travel um the flow has a lot to do with where things end up but um, just because something lands somewhere doesn't mean that it's going to be able to survive there. So I'm sure that that the larvae ends up places other than the seamount, certainly. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, it may not have enough nutrients, enough, um, you know, marine snow going through the water column. Um, it might not have something to hold on to, to, to grow on. So I think those are all really important factors. And we all need something to hold on to, which is going to come up in act two of our musical. <laughs> That's a song cue if I ever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's when the craft arm comes out to start the dance. <laughs> 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 nice. Sampling song.
I uh, might get to continue. You to keep going. All right, there. Bridge nav. Yeah, I mean, this is something that we still don't know we very much about. We can add another about. three zero meters to two four five. Um, it's something that people are actively researching, like Brian Kennedy on this expedition. Um, he's interested in looking at the associations between geological features and coral and sponge communities. Um, he wants to know if there's a correlation between the, the types of features in the area and where things like to grow. And our colleague ashore, Steve Oscovich, looking at the genetics of these right. organisms to see how closely related they are between different seamounts in the area and different groups of seamounts in the Pacific. It's, uh, we, I mean, the, I guess the n key point is we have so much to learn about how these ecosystems function. Um, we're just getting a first glimpse. Yeah, and that's why I feel like I can, I can give you my best guess, but I, I can't say definitively why. Um, we've explored so little of the seafloor still, and so... But still you're providing trenchant insight into, <laughs> into these systems. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but that's why we do this. Another primnoid, but another great thing about exploration is you don't know what you're going to see, and sometimes you develop questions as you go. Right. Moving on. Got what it. is the red um, cover on the, the rocks? The, it's uh, oxidized iron. Oh, nice. So, you know, I do a lot of different expeditions, sometimes not exploration, but hypothesis driven. But the, the rarity is that you come back and the greatest discovery was one that you were planning or predicting you'd make. It's almost always something unexpected that becomes the most important you know, result from an expedition. Ooh. Can you give us an example of one time where it was hypothesis driven and then it changed completely the course? Um, Yes. So a number of years ago, I went out to uh, a volcano in the Kermadec Arc that's off uh, northeast of New Zealand that had erupted. And we were going out there predicting that this was a big explosive eruption and that we were going to see lots of kind of pyroclastic material all over the seafloor. But it turns out that the eruption was not explosive at all. Okay. And we saw lots of big lava flows and, and giant pumice and things like that. So that was one example. And we did not expect to see giant pumice. It had never been seen from a modern eruption. And we saw pumice rocks, which you may know as the the rock that you have in your shower that you scrub your feet <laughs> oh, with. Oh, OK. Hmm. Bubble, very Got bubbly. <laughs> Uh, lava and and found pieces of that as big as minivans on the seafloor, which I had never wow. even wow. imagined. But why were you? Why were you guys um, expecting? Yeah, expecting ex to see. Because the eruption was discovered because someone flying over that area in an airplane saw a giant ah. raft of pumice on the sea surface. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. And so we thought, oh, pumice, this is explosive eruption. We'll go check it out. But uh, it was different than we expected. Interesting. So is pumice um, a characteristic to, does it tie into um, an explosive eruption? or? Typically it does. Oh, okay, because okay. when you have that many uh, bubbles, or vesicles in the rock causes it to accelerate up the conduit and essentially break apart on the way. Um, but in this case, it was an effusive pumice eruption, which is kind of really only something that can happen in the marine environment. Ah, OK. And then along that line, we have a um, question from our viewer, are any of the rocks 
Um, the mineralized versions containing nickel and other metals they are looking to farm from the ocean, from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, in a way, yes. So the iron manganese crust that we see covering everything is is the type of rock that contains those rare metals that, that people are thinking about mining. But a place like this is probably not where they would come to get it. It would be very hard to harvest it from here because you'd right. have to scrape up a whole lot of rock. Places that they're thinking about are in the abyssal ocean, these manganese nodule fields. So there, the manganese surrounds, you know, some very small grain or fish tooth or something like that and grows to about the size of a grapefruit. And so there's more crust to rock in every one. And they're also kind of loose on the seafloor. So the notion is that you could scoop them up and, and uh, process them to get the, the metals out. The exception, there, there's also, for a long time, people have thought about mining the uh, sulfide deposits associated with the Ooh. high temperature vents that we were talking about right. before. Um, there it would have to be more of a kind of scraping up kind of scenario of rock. But, you know, people have been talking about this for decades and decades. It, we haven't really seen it come to fruition. It's not really oh. economical okay. at the moment to uh, kind of retrieve this material from the deep sea. And, you know, for the first time in human history, really, we have the kind of scientific knowledge to try and understand what that kind of resource extraction would do before we do it. There's a big sponge. Mm -hmm. Big sponge. <laughs> Saco calyx. Um, Noted. You know, we we harvested oil from whales. We thought it was an infinite right. supply. We pulled up hydrocarbons from the ground. We didn't know what it would do to the, you know, to the atmosphere. Um, here we, you know, we're out here collecting information of where are these minerals? What are the ecosystems that are living on them and hopefully wow. all of that's going to be really valuable to help people think about how this resource Zoom should or shouldn't be extracted right thank you so much wow that's a cool one wow we haven't cool. seen that nice. one before i'm Double actually bail. is it saco calyx i don't think so it might not be or it, i don't know what they all look like but the ship has stopped wow. so we can take our time here super cool okay it's like thank a vase you. in a vase <laughs> right? Those are really cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. And did they ever do the mining around Papua New Guinea? No. They did big. not. No, they was yeah. stopped um, for a couple of reasons, uh, but after a large indigenous resistance movement um, okay. within Papua New Guinea, ended up having the environmental permits pulled. Okay. What's in that sponge, the bottom sponge? Oh. Oh. Isopod, like maybe? Pill bug. Yeah, cool. I thought they were inside each other. Are they behind each other? Like they seem oh, they were kind of growing <laughs> together. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, super cool. Baskets, vases, barrels, <laughs> cones, funnels, trumpets. Bugles. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're parades. Cornucopias. That's probably Cornucopiae. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, you'd have to pluralize it. I don't know. What do you think, Paula? It looks like for real. It could be. I don't see anything quite like that. Oh, what's that one? No. I don't know. These moments everyone's like curiously looking Maybe at their species like guide. Time. That's what you're hearing. We're going to click through the pages. Yeah. yeah. Trying to find a match. Right. It, it doesn't doesn't that on a look quite like a euplectelid to me. If you are interested in a chat in following along um, uh, with our animal identification identification guide, oceanexplorer.noaa.gov. Mike, can I uh, reset DVL? Yeah. I'm good here. Yeah, you guys, you guys possible, got a possible idea, Hertzwigia? Hertzwigia? How do you spell? 
H E R T W I G I A. Thank you, Twiggy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Do we need a further look at it, or should we carry on? Um, no, I can go from this. <laughs> We got this. We can keep moving. Thank you. Yep. Moving. Good for a move? Yep, good to move. <laughs> Bridge <Pretty snap. laughs> Yeah, I'm good, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Were you asking thanks, me? Adam. No, but thanks. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Bridge. Uh, let's do three zero meters, two, four, five. We haven't seen much down here, but what we have seen has been really cool. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. Speaking uh, of sponges, um, our viewers are asking, so what do, what role do sponges play in the marine ecosystem? Um, so sponges are filter feeders, um, like corals, and they provide important habitat for lots of little critters like squat lobsters and um, brittle stars, apocophorins. Um. What would you say their ecosystem service is? Um, habitat. Habitat, yeah. potentially water filtration, carbon right. sequestration. Carbon sequestration, for sure. Looking pretty, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful vase decor. Oh, and then you mentioned uh, filter feeding. Can you elaborate um, more on that? What is filter feeding? Yeah, I always assumed that meant the eight filters. Is that not right? <laughs> um, again, close, <laughs> but not <laughs> quite. Um, that means that they rely on particles passing by. Right. Um, they are not like actively like hunting prey um so it's very much just what is going through the water column um they oh, cool. so i can kind of imagine a coral having a something like a stomach but i can't really yeah. imagine a sponge having that do they just absorb so they have yeah. little flagella that beat inside each little like cell that, and that's what actually generates its water current. It so it, it's like actively creating a current that pulls water through the sponge versus oh, wow. like a coral polyp that is putting its little tendrils, its little spikes, out into water that's moving past it. The sponge, although it doesn't look like it, has kind of a more active role. Right. Wow, You've that's done amazing. experiments putting dye in the sponge. And I've done that. It's amazing how fast Ooh, it moves Super cool. Water. That's yeah. so cool. This looks like uh, primnoid, I guess. Yeah, this is a primnoid of some sort. Well, hard Which to see the structure. Don't know. Brian yeah. was saying they saw some primnoids. He wasn't sure about the genus. All right, we got it, Mike. Okay. Thank you. Moving forward. Okay. I think you got any numbers. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, they Thank usually you. use like really, really bright dye so you can see it super clearly. Wow. If anyone at home wants to Google it, it actually just popped up as the first Google result. Jonathan Bird's Blue World, which is a kid's show about the ocean. Um, I got to help be part of making that show and putting the dye into the sponge. What? So. What were they, um, what was the purpose? Uh, the purpose the purpose is to it just to make it visual. It's a biodegradable, non toxic dye. Um, right. Certain people there's also science that does it that uses you know super slow speed cameras and can quantify how wow. much water a sponge is moving, how quickly. But um, we were doing it for a TV show, so we were just like trying to get a great shot to show show kids. Wow, that's amazing. They move an amazing amount of water though. So much. What show was this? Jonathan Bird's Blue World. Jonathan. It's a PBS show. Ah. Oh. And a web show. Jonathan and Christine Bird, fantastic science educators and communicators. Jonathan Bird's Blue World. I really wanted to get the Crap Brothers out here. Yeah. But I don't think they're making their show anymore. They, they are, there's an animated show 
Yeah, they I don't think pivoted. they're still doing it. No more it. animated show? Uh, oh, know. what? That looks really cool. I grew up on that show. You know, I know Chris Kratt. Do you? Do yeah. you really? Is that the one who went to Duke? Uh, no, he went to Carleton. Okay. But I think his brother may have gone Martin. to Duke. Martin. That's yeah. not to Duke. Bridge nap. Would this be considered pillow lavas, Adam, or we can add another three zero section? meters, two four five? Uh, a little hard to say, but possibly. It certainly looks lumpy. The problem is that the uh, manganese crust causes everything to look a little lumpy. Oh, okay. Zoom in, Dave. Yeah. Where are we looking? Uh, wild yeah, Crats is still a show. Similar to what we saw. Is, is, are you making new ones still? Yep. All right. Over 12 seasons of Wild Crats. I better get in touch with the Crap Bros. <laughs> Come out as science communicators. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be super cool. I thought you said you we would need an animated here. show. There it is. All right, zoom out, Dave. Zeno504. Ooh, shout out to our friends from Colorado. Thanks for uh, staying up late and exploring with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. So Connor was telling us this was, that Primnoid was a chrysogorgic. Oh. Which uh, I remember Brian saying they saw some white chrysogorgids earlier in the watch. My daughter lives in Colorado. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we have a viewer tuning in. My sister lives in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there's at least two people that live there. <laughs> <laughs> Plus this viewer, three. Nice. They're probably excited about their basketball team, which is playing in the NBA Finals. Oh, it's true. What teams are playing? I don't really follow. Uh, Nuggets Heat. Yeah, Nuggets and Heat. Series tied 1-1, one, one. Yeah. game three tomorrow. You guys betting? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Betting in push-ups. Yeah. That's fair. Speaking of which. No. I feel like this should be a safe zone. I, from think the I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you challenging each other to push-ups where you have to do them immediately? There's a, yeah, there's yeah. a game where you have to do them immediately. <laughs> oh, what? But the van, is, the van. is home base. <laughs> safe. Safe zone. If you just stay in the van all day, you have to do your push-ups. Oh, we have two more viewers tuning in. What do we got here? We have five. <laughs> From Colorado. Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe a bathy pathies. And cue zoom the in. zoom, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Matthew Pathies. Yeah, Matthew Pathies. Oh, it's wait. Those orange dots on there, or those are just orange polyps. No, you're right. There is something there. Yeah, they're like dots. Well, we saw another coral with a bunch of orange dots on it before. Yeah, they were tinafores before. I don't. Do you want to get closer? Uh, maybe if you got a little zoom left, we could zoom in some more. I don't but think we got any nope. more. Zoom. We're all zoomed out. All zoomed in. All zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm fine with it. Yeah, this is fine. You can try to get it on the fly. I don't know. Or not. Nah. <laughs> all right, carry it on.
Eight meters left of a move. Megan out. <laughs> but I'll let you get ahead before putting another one in. Feels like it's gotten colder in here. I think because you just went outside. Um. No. I think the temperatures changed. Same temp as when the uh, surf started. Mm -mm. Seventy-two degrees. Oh, anemone. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were looking at my skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm yeah, never yes. yes. Rushing up on my... How do you, you know do what it? Mean? What? <laughs> Come up with snacks this late into the cruise. I keep them in my pocket and forget about them. <laughs> <laughs> and pocket then, snacks. Oh, I forgot about my snacks. We're down to, like, <laughs> low-calorie <laughs> saltines. <laughs> <laughs> through all the chips and then mm -hmm. hardly all the good stuff left. I would just wait mm -hmm. yeah you know cabbage cabbage left. is a great snack yeah <laughs> we're gonna be having canned lima beans in a couple of days <laughs> <I think. laughs> well I feel awful because up in the up in the front of the ship we've got a <laughs> yeah <laughs> Incredible buffet every <laughs> snack buffet. Annie. Oh. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I'm oh, the Samantha famous leaking lychee. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, those are so good. Okay. I can't even be near okay. those. You're welcome. Gotta take care of my uh, the people I couldn't make ship moves without. <laughs> <laughs> your, your chaos crew. My chaos crew. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I always buy like a bunch of bags of those lychee gummies, and Whoop. I always feel silly in the grocery store rule. at the checkout, and then I get out here, and I'm like, I should have bought twice as many. Damn it. Holy, I found it. You found it. Nice. Uh, mine's got a bit of a floor taste to it. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It adds Thank to you, it. Samantha. Thanks, You're Samantha. Welcome. Here's that extra umami. Shoe mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You won this hour of jokes. Shoe mommy. That was like runny level. <laughs> I might have oh, I missed that guy. Text him that one. He'll be on the next cruise. You'll see him in port. I don't think so. Why not? You'll see him in port. You are. I'm going coming onto the ship while it is in port. Yeah, that's <laughs> You're true. You're arriving on the ship. I'm, I'm heading to the airport, like, almost immediately. Oh, really? Even really? You want the new time? Hey, yeah, what, once I knew the new time, I mm, shifted. Okay. Well, yeah. Well. 
I wish I could shift. What time are we arriving on the 13th? 1500. 1500. Bridge nav. I've never known a ship to not arrive Three early. zero meters, two, four, five. Hey, what day are they leaving? It's 15th, 1500. Oh, I guess I had to get a place to stay or fly early then. <laughs> I think you can stay on board until the morning of the 15th, though. Correct. But I'm flying oh, on the, the 16th, so oh, oh, okay. it's oh. not going to pan out for me. They have some really comfy benches at the airport. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know about that. Honolulu's all outdoor. Yeah, know? that's true. I love the garden there what at the airport. What is this? Keep this one off the floor. Yeah. Wait, you kept two of those? Oh, a new <laughs> thing came around. Oh. More people are pulling out the trees in the last hour. No, two hours, sorry. I'm with Robert. I, All my snacks were gone like one and a half weeks into this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think people hoarded them at some point there. Um, I saw someone today open an entire box of snack pack sized chips that they had in their cabin. Wow. Really? I won't name names. We're hoping that this person will decide that they want to trade some of those snacks around. But For what? <laughs> I've got nothing to trade. <laughs> yeah, like, well, I guess you're not going to. I'll do your laundry. It's <laughs> a pretty good deal. It's like six hours of time. I know, seriously. <laughs> I have a large bag of lime tortilla chips that Ooh. will be coming out. That's a that'd be a good. They're trip. very good. I hope. Is there avocado left on this boat? Now mm. we're talking trade. Samantha's yeah. probably <laughs> got some. Down no, mine were away. gone. Oh. I have a jerky Leela bag. Keeps, I can bring. Keeps producing oh. avocados. Yeah. Yeah. The jerky bag. Jerky. The oh, beef jerky. jerky? Oh. Yeah, that Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Bring snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I was still on SPL. <laughs> Send snacks to the mail buoy, please. <laughs> Do we have a, a status status on on the on the styrofoam cups? Are they alive? Adeline uh, is the only one who knows. <laughs> We haven't seen any go flying by the camera, so there's that. Oh, that, that, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> there is it's Atalanta's backpack of, of fun. I don't touch the cups because I've lost too many cups and there's nothing worse than a whole classroom full of fifth graders <laughs> that totally hate your guts for losing their cups. You've been burned before. Sounds like you've had experience with yeah. this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was on like on my second cup drawing when I noticed that most people are drawing it upside down so you can actually place it somewhere <laughs> when it's <laughs> done. And I was just drawing everything upside like upside up. Up. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Now oh I well. learn. Next time. Well when you have your future collection of cups from all of the expeditions you've been on, you'll see that one and be like, This was the first before I, uh, yeah, <laughs> life experience. <laughs> so, I don't think you need to draw them upside down. I think you can do whatever you want, yeah. Yeah. So. The, the key is to put a paper towel inside them, but loosely, not, yeah. not stuff it. Hmm. Just a loose paper towel. Oh, really? Not stuff it? Don't stuff, don't stuff it, it in it. there. Yeah. Why? We stuffed. <laughs> you stuffed? 
So much type of stuff. Just just a little bit. Because uh -oh. it'll, it'll, it'll shrink around the paper towel. And it'll oh, no. no. We oh. still have so many. It'll, it'll still shrink. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> it'll it'll be, shrink, but it'll, it'll be. will be digging <laughs> paper towel out of there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we stuffed so many, and I was in charge of putting them in the bag, so I just still stuffed more because I thought, I, I thought people were stuffing enough. Oh. Someone said, and I quote, as much as you can. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Adam said this? <laughs> really? Oh, he's not Sounds even Sounds like something Adam would <laughs> say. It was Adam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> Adam. <laughs> okay, I have one lychee, lychee gummy left. It I'll trade you for two watermelon. Gummies? Yeah. Whoa. I was going to offer it as like a prize for something, oh. <laughs> but my altruism is rapidly depleting. <laughs> Ooh, well, There's Sour we... Patch Watermelon. Oh, wow. So yeah. our viewers are wondering what the conversation about cups is about. Can we elaborate? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We're sending some styrofoam cups down, secured to at Atlanta. Um, the styrofoam at this depth will be compressed and when we bring them back up they'll be little cups yeah. there's a lot of hydrostatic pressure yes on this region i learned that this this morning <laughs> me too I'm scared for mine. They're going to look like balloons <laughs> <laughs> with, all the, <laughs> with all the stuffed paper. I wish I didn't know that detail. <laughs> no, I'm just going to be living in fear for my cup. Don't live in fear. You just have to accept it. You can send them down <laughs> There's nothing you, can do. nothing you can do now about it. You can send them down again. Maybe. You can. But it was so special. <laughs> Bridge nav. Let's do five zero meters two four five. Yeah, I think it's ready for us to find something to look at. And it only happens when I put in a longer ship move. <laughs> 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 Why don't we find something amazing, put in a 200 meter ship move? <laughs> Carrier crab, it seems, with oh, yeah. going at oh, full speed. What is that full on its back? <laughs> Zoanthids, maybe? Turbo. Is it? It's <laughs> turbo mode. It kind of looks like a sea star. It does. It has a sea star. <laughs> what? First ever on this watch, the carrier crab with a sea star. Oh, it's up. I don't think it's a. S is it a sea star? I think it's Zoanthids. Zoanthids? It's got the little. Oh. Oh, you're right. That would be amazing, though. It's like a beanie. It's very <laughs> symmetrical, Zoanthids. Hmm. I don't think a sea star would go along with that. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Would if it was taken under or er, without its own will to go. Crab okay, just grabs it and sticks it on. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's got some chemical he can. I don't know <laughs> what that is. <laughs> <laughs> just, paralyze, just paralyze it on top. It's just took a turn. I can't believe I'm getting this in the still cam. This is great. Oh my gosh, that must be great. It's pretty cool. 
That's not even it running. It's so just fast. <laughs> oh my God. It looks like it's running Booking from this like it. cloud of dust behind oh, it. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, he's it's okay. Oh, okay. Everything's okay. All right. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> Everyone's fine. Uh, Booking it. Oh wow. All right. Why? Why? <laughs> why is it running so fast? Like, it's like something. Well. Atlanta stirring up dust. I don't know. This? Every time. God. Is there a bigger That's predator so cool. that we don't know about? It's us. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <Yeah. laughs> this is like an action movie. <laughs> this is the part of the musical that we figure out that we're the villains. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it look like it's running from like an explosion? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> I like that. That's an does amazing. Look like so so. Yeah, it does. Out of courtesy, shouldn't the ne next watch arrive two hours early? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'd be the nice thing to do. <laughs> the decent. The decent thing to do. Yes. <laughs> I think Sarah's watching in the lounge. <laughs> hey, Sarah. With her arms full of Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream sequence part of the musical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't even cookies or anything today, was there? But we had oatmeal cookies there was at some point. Oh, there were? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there were. Yeah. <laughs> did Not you guys anymore. They just get wolfed down. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you see, was it yesterday, they put out some cinnamon Yes, rolls? yes. Oh, wow. I, I hope you guys one. tried it. I missed this completely. No. Yeah, I got a lot of people did. There was like three left. Mm -hmm. I heard about him. So good. So what do we think our last ice cream sundae? Oh, that's we'll a have. good question. Oh. Has to be the best one because it's the last one. All right. I really have no idea. I mean, I don't Chocolate think any chip. of us would have predicted Honeydew, honey mochi. No, mochi. That's no I never would have. Very good point. I, I hope so. there's like I'm a gonna survey. I'm going to say coconut. Coconut. Ooh. Chocolate has like been that. like a thing every Sunday. Yeah? It's almost like a chocolate. Always something chocolatey. Yeah, yeah always something chocolatey. It used to and be then another strawberry flavor. every single time. Strab oh. Always. Ooh. Maybe we'll get strawberries. <laughs> Did it have <laughs> real strawberry in it? No, it was cheap, really cheap yeah. ice cream. You're heading up to the heading up to the Great White North up there. You're gonna get some maple syrup ice cream or something in Canada. Oh, that'd be Ooh. good. <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. They have some really good maple soft serve in Vermont. Oh, yeah. What's the uh, number one flavor in Glassboro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I had Mike's like to burning <laughs> garbage, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with, with a fresh rain sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time you've described something. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> garbage with rain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we have two choices, so chocolate and internal <laughs> shark stomach goo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Calcareous ooze. I, uh, there is a, a good ice cream place just down the street called Scoopies. Oh, Scoopies. <laughs> yeah. And they are fantastic and dangerous. <laughs> Why is it dangerous? Because it's, it's right down the street. Oh. <laughs> and they're fantastic. <laughs> That's how I feel about the 3 p.m. cookies. Mm -hmm. Cape mm. Cod's got a lot of ice cream places. Sure do. Yep. <gasps> Smitty's. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which, uh, I got the leash candy. Somerset Creamery. That's a good Great. one. Have you been to Crescent Ridge? Crescent Ridge? Have you had Crescent Ridge? No. Oh. Where, whereabouts is that? It's in Sharon. Sharon. Uh, what is, there's one up in uh, 
Boston area, PJ Licks. JP Licks? JP Licks. Who's PJ? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In Florence, we have BJ's. BJ's? Yep, two locations. One right on the highway for the tourists and one down in Old Town. Also for the tourists. I love <laughs> BJ's. <laughs> but uh, BJ's is good. I guess that's the thing, right? It's the tourist places have uh, yeah. ice cream places. They have ice cream as well as uh, candy. They have seafoam. Seafoam? Seafoam? Like uh, what? Cotton candy? No, seafoam so candy. It's uh, I mean, it's a lot of salt. It's what a, is that? It's a foamy, crunchy interior and then dipped in chocolate. What? Oh. What? Oh. Like a marshmallow? No, not marshmallow. It's crunchy. It's uh, like a <laughs> meringue. Like a like not meringue. Oh. kind of thing. Are you going to just keep saying it's seafoam? Like a and yeah, kind of kinda like, a, <laughs> oh. kinda like a malt ball, but not malty. Interesting. Yeah. With that same kind of consistency. Oh, right. And it's, uh, oh. it's done on a sheet and broken up into chunks and then oh. dipped in. Lovely. Dark chocolate. chocolate. Right. So right right here. White chocolate, milk chocolate, and my favorite, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. Salt water taffy, that kind of stuff. Ooh. I think we can add another five zero meters to two four five. Yeah. Let's do it. The seafoam candy sounds like a very appropriate um, candy to have on the Nautilus. Being Can on we the sea. Yes. We need it. Seafoam yes, candy. Does it taste like anything like? What does it taste like? Pillows. <laughs> 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 so, Annie, what? what's the pillow flavor profile? That you're looking for? No, not that pillow. Down foam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to. I'm looking at it. It looks good. But I'm trying to see. It's sure what it tastes it's like. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a sugar syrup, like a oh, caramel. Oh, okay. Uh, but light, uh, but it's then it's got uh, it's got uh, like baking soda and something acidic in it to make it foam up. Mm. Mm. Maybe like lemon juice or something. Yeah, maybe, but it isn't sour, so I don't know. I don't know how you make it. Oh, why is Google? Please tell us more <laughs> about sea foam candy. And it's something, that, it's something that our grandmothers used to make. Uh, oh, nice. My wife's grandmother was a candy maker, superb, and we have all of her recipes, which we what? don't know. What? That's how hard to do, man. We don't know how to use, but need a one day. candy thermometer. Oh, yeah. The hard ball stage. Yeah. Oh, she used to make candy all the time, especially at the holidays. Nice. Tried to make caramel once. Burnt it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, caramel Not goes dying. caramel goes from perfect to burnt in like a millisecond. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it did did not work out well. <laughs> All right, so. Here like we are. Devoid of life on this slope. <laughs> yeah. I put nice in another rocks, 50 meter though. move, so. There yeah. are some rocks. I don't think you could pick one of these up, though. Is that a challenge? No, <laughs> we got one. We got one rock Except. left. <laughs> so, Adam, you know what kind of rock are you looking for here? Uh. Well, so I don't really know because we've been going for the angular melon. Mm. But right the there. best rock I found so far was a uh, like a giant sweet potato. Mm. So we're looking for an ube. Yes. Okay. So I probably have to shout out. Brickley's ice cream shop next to the Narragansett Bay campus of URI. Mm. It's good. So do you commute or do you uh, just go once uh, in a while? I go two days a week. The rest of the week I work from home. Uh, that's 
bit of a haul, right? Like hour it and is. Half or it is exactly an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Sorry. An hour and a half is a haul? Each oh, way. East Coast. To, to work? Each way. East Coast. <laughs> That's three hours of commuting. It is. It is. That is a long commute. That's, but. That's about two and a half and hours too you, much. And then you add in, like, the <laughs> ice and snow and general yuck. But the good news is I drop my son off at the bus at 7.15, so then I'm out, and I get there by 9, and I, don't, I haven't had any, like, traffic issues except now they're fixing up one of the bridges. Oh, really? So traffic has gotten kind of bad on the bridges. And it's, here comes summertime. Yeah. I assume I, they're planning on getting it open before that. I would hope so. <laughs> but one of these days they're going to end up building new bridges. I don't know what that's going to do. If anyone's interested, we've gone 590 mi uh, meters. <laughs> Not miles. Woo! <laughs> that's <laughs> almost 300 per. Mm. Uh, hey, can we zoom in? You know what? You're actually right. I did that cold. fast math, you know? Yeah. So I remember that um, when we were having trouble with the primnoids, there is a white chrysogorgia that was observed on the last watch. Hmm. This, this looks like a primnoid to me. Okay. Very dainty polyps there. Swimmer, swimmer. <laughs> Okay, that's good, thank you. Oh, Ooh. there's a... You got something just above you on the... Black coral? Right. Yep. Budge. Up here? Is it, is it that? Oh, the black coral I was talking about? No. Did Zoom in on that, Dave. Okay, really. I don't know what that is. There's something large and stalked in the background. See it on Atalanta cam. That looks like a... Just a goop. Goop. Yeah. <laughs> goop. For lack of better words. There's, there's oh, up on top yeah, of there. there. That's a big sponge, I think. Ooh, <laughs> what is this? Sort of corroded sponge. Doesn't look um, too alive. But it's still upright. Zoom in on that, Dave. Cool lighting. <laughs> I know. This is going to be great for the um, the movie <laughs> musical. <laughs> what is this? Well so just by looking at it, I'm assuming mm. it's um it's dead. Mm. Yep. It doesn't look well. Color. Yeah. Okay. Dr. It looks like Halleck, it's like deep sea coroner. <laughs> <laughs> just by looking at it, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Pronounced dead. Call it ten twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, can I reset DVL right now? Oh, or are yeah. you using it? Okay. I have no thoughts on ID. <laughs> <laughs> 